Hi there, this is a quick post to follow on my uh, puzzler about the beam family. Uh, one of the guys in the comments was asking about constraining the beam, and I've been able to constrain the beam uh, in terms of length by following this set of steps. Now, it doesn't constrain the analytical lines and such, but for the thing I was dealing with, it didn't bother me. Um, starting off with, there's the endpoints that show up when you pick the beam, and then we have these other elements here, uh, the endpoints of the physical flange. If I align and lock the reference, which is this first uh, highlighted element, that'll move the beam over. I can lock that. Then if I align and lock the, not the reference, but the shape handle, it'll stretch the beam out. And what happens then is I can flex the length and it tolerates the changes. Now what fails for me is when I try to go to the, the selection mode and try to swap it out for a different size. And I'm using a 12 by 35 here. So if I go to the family types and try to swap it out to say a 10 by 49, then I get this error. Because what it's trying to do is to resize all of this stuff, which throws out the values that were there previously for where these endpoints are and so forth. Um, I haven't been able to use a reporting parameter because the host doesn't function. Um, it doesn't qualify as a host. So if I wanted, I found that I could manipulate things if I put a dimension between the shape handles and so forth, but I couldn't then take the reporting parameter concept and use that. If I could use a reporting parameter, then I could potentially connect a parameter to a parameter and drive the length without having to use any uh, locks or constraints in that fashion. Uh, just frustrating that I can get the length to work, but as soon as I go in and then use this other concept, family type, to swap out a different size, then I get uh, in trouble. And perhaps changing the type isn't really the right approach in this con context, but it's what's uh, available to me. So that would seem to, that's what I wanted to try to be able to do and what made sense to me to be able to just reuse existing content without having to reinvent it. So I hope it helps clarify what I was trying to accomplish anyway.